Welcome back to E-Magazine Life. If you're just joining us today, is Real Mondays. And we're talking about Pillow Talk, which is premiering this weekend on Saturday and Sunday, 15th and 16th. Now, joining me is the director of the film. This is Alice Kombani. Thank you so much for joining me, Alice. Thank you for having us. Now, let's just jump and start talking about how your experience was, you know, directing this film and bringing it to what it is. Mm. We have such an exciting story around it. Mm -hmm. I wasn't the original director. Mm -hmm. We had actually gotten a director, a very mm -hmm. good director. But she couldn't make it in good time. Okay. So I had to step in. I looked for a director because <laughs> I wanted to produce 100%. <laughs> I looked for a director. I couldn't get one. So I had to just like get there get and do it. And yeah. do it. Mm. So how did you come to, you know, accept into work on this project with Charles and the reason behind you accepting it and mm. what you expected to get out of it? I, I wanted to produce a story, mm -hmm. and this story seemed like a story that wouldn't cost a lot of money. <laughs> so uh, that was one of the things that uh -huh. uh, got me there. But this story is also very brilliant. Mm -hmm. Charles is a brilliant uh, writer. So I loved the story from the beginning, mm -hmm. and I, I was ready to give it my all. Mm -hmm. So that's what I did as a producer. And when we got to that point where the director couldn't make it, mm -hmm. I didn't have a choice. I had to go through. And, and push through with it. Yeah. So what's your favorite part about this movie, particularly? I love the acting. The acting is superb. Mm -hmm. Those two characters did their very best. Mm -hmm. And the set design is also something to die for. Well, miss, I'm mm -hmm. super excited to watch it. Yeah. I'm sure the viewers are mm -hmm. as well. Take me through the process um, mm -hmm. of, you know, getting this movie to what it is. Right now. Okay, right now. <laughs> First of all, I, I, the last movie I made was in 2015. So I've been saving up, trying to make my movie like my the best yes. movie that I could. So... I was looking for a good story. I have been writing, I'm also a screenwriter. But uh, all my stories are so many locations, like we have to do so many things. Mm -hmm. And this story came with one location and it had everything working for it. So it was the absolute best. And it was different from what you had worked on yes. before. So you're willing to just try it and see how it takes you. Yes. So before we even start talking about, you know, the movie screening and IMAX, because mm -hmm. I wanted to know particularly why you guys chose IMAX. Mm -hmm. um, I just wanted to take me through if you, you know, having the script that Charles wrote, mm -hmm. you directing this movie, um, did you guys stick completely to the script? Or was there some things that changed in the process of getting the film together? I honestly can say that we did. Mm -hmm. First of all, because we, we had a whole year of preparing. So yeah. a lot of things were covered during the pre-production period. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we, we, we had a great, great production designer who we had the movie on paper first before we had it on, uh, on screen, like on video. So we had a nice mood board. It actually depicted everything that we had. Mm -hmm. This is exactly how we should be making movies. Like you can take a whole year and make a movie. And take your time. And take your time, <laughs> uh, yeah, if you can afford it. <laughs> so we managed to do that. And we had a great cast and a great crew. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, we, we had such great ambitions. We actually shot it in, on 4K. Yeah, with the best equipment that you can imagine. That's beautiful. Mm. Now, earlier on when I talked to Chester, he had mentioned obviously you guys had a budget um, mm. of 3,000 yes. 3, 3, oh, yeah. yeah, K. Yeah. Now, I just want you to tell me if you guys went over that. We have. We have gone way, way beyond it. Because one, when we shot on 4K, I didn't realize that it's going to cost us space. Mm -hmm. So space, just during the shoot, we realized that whatever we had couldn't, wasn't enough. So I had to get more space. And then uh, editing 4K is also another story. <laughs> so I had to get a super editor with great machinery. Mm -hmm. And that comes to the cost. I can so imagine. That, yeah. And then uh, I felt like people love coming to town more than they like going to Mombasa Road and the like. Mm -hmm. So that's why we chose town. We chose that's town like and CBD. IMAX. Yeah. Uh -huh. So that is also a bit expensive, but okay. it's worth it. Yeah. So why should we go watch Pillow Talk? <sighs> I think this is one of the... Uh, stories that have been done in Kenya, which are legit independent mm -hmm. stories that are not been f have not been funded by by a colonial whatever yeah. <laughs> <I'm pulling laughs> like African saying, yeah. stories by Africans. Uh, yes. Yeah. So, so I think you should come see that. And then the acting is just superb. Mm -hmm. I, I I don't lie even about myself. Like I just say it as it is. But mm -hmm. this acting is just the best. Well, I hope when story. Kalasha World comes, it will be part of the you guys will be part of the nominations. I know we will be on the list. I yes, <laughs> that is the spirit. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, um, Alice, I just wanted to know more about um, from your perspective when it, it comes to Pillow Talk. Mm -hmm. What was the most difficult part for you as a director? Mm. I think the most difficult part was coming to that point where I agreed to direct it because <laughs> I had this vision in my head and I wanted someone to translate it. It's easier, it's easier to send someone. 
But then again, now when I had to step into these shoes, I had to man up and in a big way. Okay. Like I actually gave my kids away <laughs> for like a month. I was like, you know what? I want to focus. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And that's exactly what I did. And I called these actors and we sat down and we rehearsed and we got every line in that whole one hour, 15 minutes. You had to make a little bit of sacrifices. Yes, yes. So are you anticipating that you make the money from these tickets that people come watch it? Are you anticipating towards that? Yes, I am. We have such good traction on, on social media because I didn't want to fake it, like pay people to talk about it. So mm -hmm. we are doing it organically because I'm actually studying film. So this is something that I want to see over the years. Like how does this market rise? Mm -hmm. So we, we are not trying to force it we have an organic market and we, we are seeing it. Mm -hmm. Like we are trying to put it on social media just to let people know about us. Mm -hmm. And we are getting feedback mm -hmm. and people are trying to get these tickets. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so I think we will make that money. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful. I Thank think you. you guys will be actually mm -hmm. looking forward to watching the movie. Yeah. Did you guys specifically choose February to be the day that you premiere or? Yes. yes. It's a love story. Uh -huh. It's a couple story. It's an African story. You know, African love is, is usually, it has connotations. Yes. So we want to see how do millennials love. Mm -hmm. And we are actually getting to see it and their fears and all that. Mm -hmm. So when, we, when I read the story, I knew it was a Valentine's story. Mm -hmm. So we were working towards this month mm -hmm. and it is perfectly there. Great. Well, mm -hmm. thank you so much for sharing um, your experience through mm -hmm. making this video pillow talk. So mm -hmm. we'll get to watch it on February, right? This, yeah. This week. This Saturday. Weekend. On Saturday. On so Saturday. the theme is on Saturday. It's on a Saturday. red carpet event. Uh huh. You're gonna get drinks and some bitings. Mm -hmm. Karibu nisana. Santi, we're definitely yeah. gonna be there. Yeah. But that was Alice Kombani, the director of Pillow Talk. Thank you so much for joining me. Well, we're going to take a short commercial break. When we come back, do not go anywhere. We have real talk. We're going to take a look at the movies that are trending that you should be watching. <laughs>